Hey everybody, it's Jordan Norell making my daily video about circumcision and today I would like to talk about foreskin restoration primarily um, as well as a little bit of how this relates to foragen whose goal is to regenerate the foreskin. Um, so foreskin restoration is for men who don't like that they're circumcised who uh, realize how valuable the foreskin, how good it feels, all its functions and want it back. So what they do is you can stretch the skin on the, re the remainder of your penis, the shaft skin, and if there's any foreskin, inner foreskin left, then you stretch that every day. You can either do uh, manually or um, there's a lot of different restoration um, devices out there. Um, TLC by Ron Lau and TLCX and TLC Pusher and TLC etc. 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 Um, are some of the best products that currently exist. Um, though I haven't looked in, in a couple of years, and I know there's some, some more that are continuously coming out as this problem continues to be recognized more and more. Um, there's a lot of different methods. You know, I would recommend if you are thinking of restoring your foreskin, just do the research. Just look into the different methods. Um, all of them work. Um, doing it for at least a few hours a day is uh, ideal if you're doing putting a device on and um, having only slight tension. If you're manually restoring, you can put a lot more tension on and you can do it for a shorter time, like half an hour or an hour. Um, I used to use the DTR when I started. Um, I always really like the dual tension um, restoration type things because they put um, tension on both the inner and outer foreskin. Then I use the TLC-X um, as well as the TLC um, uh, TLC pusher later and different air methods which use air on the inside of the foreskin to um, grow mainly inner foreskin again because the inner foreskin is the most sensitive, kind of the best foreskin or best part of your dick that's left. So you want to get as much of that as possible. Um, it costs a little bit of money, but it's it's always worth it. You know, if you read um, stories of men who are restoring online, that's one of the best ways to get really uh, motivated to do it because most of them will tell you, this is the best thing I've ever done for myself. It's improved sex a hundred times much. The glands, the head of the penis is now covered all the time. It's an supposed to be an internal organ and now I can feel so much more because it's returned to its natural mucosal state and the extra calloused skin has sloughed off um, and it feels a billion times better. You can have the gliding motion, you can have the um, the lubrication that the foreskin provides. Um, you, you can't grow back unfortunately the nerve endings in the ridged band and the frenulum, if that is, well, it's pretty much always damaged or completely removed. Um, and so those you can't, unfortunately, fix with foreskin restoration, and so you can only get um, some of the nerve capacity back. It's not that you can't get any. You can grow some skin um, that's either shaft skin or inner foreskin. Inner foreskin is much harder to grow than shaft skin, but uh, by regrowing those, you do get some some sensation and some nerves back because those things have nerves in them. The shaft skin has nerves, and the inner foreskin that you're growing back has nerves. Um, again, it's you want to grow a lot of inner foreskin, but it's hard to because it grows more slowly. So that's um, a challenge of this this method as well. Um, but yeah, I would, I would highly recommend restoring. I have been for four and a half years. For some guys, it takes a year or two. Um, for some guys it takes 20 years or maybe more. Uh, we'll see. I've been doing it for four and a half years. I look kind of like when I started, um, although after two years I did stop needing to use lube when I masturbate and um, that's another huge benefit of restoring. You don't need lube anymore. Masturbation feels way, way better. Um, but after four and a half years it still basically looks like I'm circumcised and it'll take many, many more years. Um, even despite having tried lots of different methods, my skin just grows pretty slowly. So um, that's another big drawback of this, and it takes time every day. It's annoying. Um, you know, if 
you figure out how to do it right, it shouldn't be super painful. It should, um, it might be a little uncomfortable to wear a device and it do doesn't really feel good to pull on the skin. Um, but it's worth it. It's really, really worth it. Um, both the psychological healing that you get from that. Uh, I also, while I'm doing manual restoration, I do some psychological exercises that I've posted in my, um, in another playlist, psychological exercise playlist, and you can do those while you are um, restoring and then heal both physically and psychologically at the same time. I would highly recommend. Um, but yeah, it's, you know, there's only so much you can ultimately get back from restoring. And so uh, another approach that's up and coming has been for it's quite a few years, for eight years now, uh, is the company Foragen. Uh, since its inception, it's gone through lots of phases and iterations and trying to figure things out, get the right scientists. Um, as I said earlier, its its goal is ultimately to regenerate the human foreskin. Uh, but it takes um, a lot of different things to fall into place for that to happen. Uh, and the main thing is funding. Foragen, uh, since it's since being founded eight years ago has only raised around three hundred thousand dollars its donation uh, approximate amount is now at around ten thousand dollars a month so that's that's good um, and Foragen continues to grow it's designing a new website right now it's pr probably going to partner with Brendan Murata um, to create a crowdfunding campaign it will be super high quality and uh, as Forgen is transitioning from a nonprofit to a for-profit, which will also help us hopefully raise a lot more capital, um, we also plan to use the. <coughs> by the way, I'm saying we because I'm the Forgen podcast host and um, try to stay as involved as I can. Um, and so Forgen's next goal is to go for-profit and then hopefully raise a lot of money because we need a lot of money. Um, and yeah that's kind of where we're at right now um, we've done the animal experiments um, decellularizing animal tissue then we moved on to decellularizing human foreskin and successfully did this um, everything went really really well um, we're waiting for the peer, peer review process to complete so um, that's a little you know People always want want things to be done yesterday, of course, and as do I, as do we all. But it t it takes time. The scientific process takes time, and that's a lot of why For Foragen has taken so long through the years to figure out where to base its company. Uh, you know, the United States was too much regulation and would have taken much much longer. Finding the right scientists, finding people who actually support this cause, um, who are willing to deal with the political ramifications of it. Um, setting up our website infrastructure, trying to get all the right people in place, social media team, um, figuring out how we're going to get it funded, creating materials, creating podcasts. And now uh, I think we're really, really on track to start to um, pick things up and go really fast. And the main thing I want to say about um, the relationship between restoration regeneration is first of all you can do both I would recommend doing both um, I restored my foreskin first and then I uh, or am in the process of restoring it um, in case forage and something happens and somehow it doesn't work out even though you know it's incredibly likely that it will it's a relatively simple regeneration it's just getting people in the right mindset so that they understand why foreskin is valuable and so that they are willing to uh, fund it again. So it it's definitely going to happen once it's funded because it's possible and then men who are have already restored can actually remove the restored foreskin and then get a foreskin back that has all of the nerve endings that's basically the same as you would have had had you never been circumcised, that has the ridge band, that has the frenulum and frenula delta in our foreskin like it's supposed to, um, because it will be your own 
DNA that fills out the extracellular matrix. Uh, we'll talk about a lot more about science in the next podcast called The Missing Piece Podcast with uh, our guest Eric Cunningham. But that's the basic science, you know, where we replace your foreskin with your own cells and um, and because it's your own DNA telling it what to do, it will replace the extracellular matrix from uh, adult deceased donor foreskin, and that foreskin will then become what it would have been if it was originally yours, because it's your DNA telling it what to do. So, um, yeah, ultimately, even if you're already restored, you can still regenerate. Um, however, for that to happen, uh, the most important thing I want to say in this whole video is for any of that to happen, Foragen needs to be funded. Um, and you may say, well, how much money does it need? Well, it needs millions of dollars. And it's raised $300,000 in eight years. And even people at Foragen who I've talked with, a lot of them don't really seem to get it. I don't know if they haven't been following it for as long or what, but we've tried a lot of ways to get the money and it's just still happening way too slowly um, we need millions of dollars at ten thousand dollars a month that's going to take many 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 years um, and so we need um, first of all a huge cultural shift would be ideal which is what we're going for which is part of what Forgen's waiting for to go for profit with Brennan Murata's film coming out with Eric Clopper's play coming out in the next few months um, Hopefully that and all of the other intactivist activities that are continually happening, happening and accelerating um, will really start to shift this issue, and I believe they will. And that's my goal as well, is to really, really um, use social entrepreneurship and um, find ways of leveraging our small resources to create huge cultural change, because it's very simple to create this change. People just need the information, just need to... Um, here are the other perspectives and need to think about it critically for a minute. And it's really pretty easy to change people's minds when they know the facts, when they've heard a story that moves them. Um, you know, people don't have strong opinions on this, and it's, um, it's really pretty easy to affect that. However, I will also say this. We don't even need to have anything shift except for a slight mindset in the men who already know about this issue. Um, not even the men who are upset about circumcision, but the men who are actively restoring. There's a, in Brennan Murata's film, someone said, um, our estimate is there's about 250,000 men on the planet right now restoring their foreskins every day, stretching them for years, um, often spending hundreds of dollars, and you know, how many hundreds or thousands of hours, um, well, just taking on and putting off the device or doing manual restoration. It's many, many hours worth of time invested in this, which could be invested in other things, say, um, working a couple extra hours uh, and then donating that money. Or the money that you spent on restoration, what if you match that and donate it to Foragen? If the 250,000 men who are restoring right now each donated $100, which is a pretty small amount um, considering all of that that they spent on restoring, that would be $25 million. That would be enough to fund Foragen right now. So if all the men who are restoring their foreskins simply took the money they spent on that and spent just a little bit of it on a regenerative therapy that's a million times better, that's easier, then we could easily fund this. So it's really, 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 really pretty simple, guys. Um, if you want your forcing back the way it was supposed to be, we know we can do it. Uh, it's, it's pretty straightforward, it's pretty simple. We can try to shift all of society and somehow let everybody know about Foragen. And I think we should, you know, do that too. But if there's any guys who are restoring out there who are watching this or who are thinking about restoring, please do. Please do restore. It's, it's great. Um, but also please, you know, just become, 
just donate $10 a month to Foragen. Uh, and you get the newsletter and you can um, you know keep on keeping up with it it's provides hope it's it feels good it's the right thing to do because um, for all the men and boys who are circumcised all the boys who are being circumcised as I make this video um, they they deserve to be to be whole and um, there's no way that that's going to happen unless we really fund this, unless we make this happen. And, you know, when Foragen does succeed, I think um, the stories from that will also be a really, really good thing to show that, I mean, if circumcision hasn't already been outlawed by then, then people hearing, oh, I got my foreskin back, and it's now the best part of my penis and sex is a million times better and we can throw out ads and and show people hey guys by the way there's this procedure available now regenerating your foreskin it makes sex a billion times better here's five thousand guys who will tell you exactly that who have had the procedure um, I think that'll change people's attitude at least a little bit around this so uh, that's it for today guys restore fun foraging uh, if you have any more questions about any of that or anything I said today, would love to talk with you. Let me know. Otherwise, I'll talk to you all again tomorrow.